Hello there and welcome, I'm Bob Proctor. You've often heard me uh, say in seminars and speeches I've made that we are truly God's highest form of creation. And I firmly believe that. What makes us God's highest form of creation? What separates us from all the other little creatures on the planet? You know, all the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. They blend in. You and I are totally disoriented in our environment. And that is because we've been given the mental faculties to create our own environment. We are truly creative beings. We have perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. Six higher faculties. We have memory. There's no such thing as a bad memory. Everyone has a perfect memory. Go and buy Harry Lorraine and Jerry Lucas's book, The Memory Book. You can develop your memory to a phenomenal degree. Everyone has a perfect memory. Most of them have weak memories. Perception. It's how you see things. We know that our perception is our reality. Let's suppose I have a problem. I'll tell you what I do. I take and I write the problem out as clear as I possibly can. I write it out in such a way that if I give it to you, you'd be seeing it exactly the way I'm seeing it. I'll put it in the middle of a table, and then I'll sit and I'll look at it, and I'll say, now is that problem in me or is it on the paper? And I work at it until I get it on the paper and get it out of me. Then I'm looking at the situation, the problem, as a challenge, it's something that I can look at objectively as a stranger might. And I'll go and I'll sit the other side of the table, I'll physically move and I'll say, how would Napoleon Hill look at this? And I would attempt to get in Hill's energy and get his perception of it. Then I may go sit at another place on the table and I do the same thing. And I might say, how would Thomas Edison look at this? Then I might go and sit at another place and say, how would Henry Ford look at this? And I would mentally look at it and think, if I were them, how would I look at this? I guarantee you, you'll see the opportunity in the problem. That's how you solve it. That's how you use perception. You change, I like the way our good friend Wayne Dyer used to put it. He said, when you change the way you look at something, what you look at changes. Then you have the will. Do you know, when John Kennedy asked Dr. Werner von Braun what it would take to build a rocket that would carry a person to the moon and bring him back safely to Earth, von Braun answered him in five words. He said, the will to do it. You see, the will is that mental faculty that gives you the ability to hold one idea on the screen of your mind to the exclusion of all outside distractions. It gives you the ability to concentrate. When you concentrate, your thoughts increase in amplitude of vibration. Your thoughts become much more powerful. You have the ability to raise and lower your own power through your thinking. Well, that's what the will is for, to hold one idea, the exclusion of all outside distractions that are begging your attention through your senses. Then we have imagination. Napoleon Hill said it's the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force the world's ever known. Do you know the building you're in was imagined nothing but an image in somebody's mind at one time. That's all it was. You have a marvelous imagination. You can create whatever you want your imagination. And I'm going to tell you something. When you get a picture here, you've gone there. That place exists. There is a place. You've raised yourself, put yourself on a higher frequency of thought. Nothing's created or destroyed. Whenever we build an image in our mind, we're capable of doing it. See, it wasn't too long ago when if somebody had talked about having one of these things, you'd have thought they were out of their mind. Today, they're commonplace. Imagination. Then we have reason. Reason, right reason. Most people reason away their success. Reason is where you pluck thoughts out of the ether. You create thoughts. You can pick up thoughts. Thoughts are floating around other people's thoughts. Or you can create them. You create them because you've got what's in, called an inductive reasoning factor. And you pull thoughts and build them together and you build an idea. And if you don't like the idea, take another thought and add it. You keep adding thoughts until you got the idea you want. Reason. Think. Think. How can I fix this? How can I do that? You do it through thinking. You build an image in your mind through thoughts. Thinking is the highest function that you're capable of. I like the way Anderson put it. He said, when we fully realize that thought causes all, he'll know, we'll know there's never any limits that we ourselves do not impose. And you have intuition. Intuition is that marvelous mental faculty that gives us the conscious ability to pick up vibration, pick up another person's thoughts, 
to read their energy. Persons are massive energy and a high speed of vibration. That's really what they are. And you can pick up their energy and you can read it. You can tell what's going on. Intuition is God's way of talking to you. That's where the universe, you pick up the vibrations and you can feel it. It's a marvelous, marvelous tool. I have become very intuitive. Usually when you see a person that's intuitive, you say, my goodness, they're psychic. And we look at that as a bad thing. Everyone's psychic. Psyche is the Greek word for mind. You have a marvelous mind. But understand this, the mind is perfect. It can never be damaged. The idea there's mental retardation is a misnomer. Your mind is perfect. It's a matter of developing it. So you have perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. There you have it. They're higher faculties. Study them. We have a marvelous program called The Magic in Your Mind. You might inquire about it. This is Bob Proctor, and thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here, and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notification. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up. Thank you.